And off they go, the women's 800 meters, two laps uh, here at the United National Stadium at, uh, for the Kip Kano Classic. Mary, again, wants to follow the pacemaker. I think the, the field will let her do it. So she's uh, falling right in place. So right behind the pacemaker, That's Mary Sarah Mora. Mora. Sarah but the Mora pacemaker has been tasked to pace a uh, time sub 158. But she's gone go out too first, fast. To go, to go through the four, first 400 meters in a time of 57. But she's and gone out too fast. Uh, so uh, she needs to look back and uh, look at where the field is so she can adjust her pace. Mary Mora, however, catching up as well as the rest of the team. And the first lap was done in a time of 55-67, which is much faster than what was required. But here we go. So Mary Mara still in second, controlling the, the, the pace from the back. You know, I think no one will really want to pass her. The pacemaker stepped out, incidentally, that was her younger sister. So Mary could, still controlling the pace here. Down the back straight, Mary Mora is still in the lead, followed closely by Chip Churchill. 600 meters down, still a very fast time. Uh, they're going to go for a world leading time here based on the, on the splits here, as we see. Mary Mora still hasn't put, put in her running yet. She's going to leave it to the last 100 where she can use her speed to pull away from this field. A very controlled Mary Mora. Nobody really wants to. Uh, contest her and there she pulls away nice and easy Mary Moran kicks the round 50 20 meters to win in 157 world, world leading time here in Nairobi by Mary Moran looking very controlled and relaxed a new meeting record Mary a world Mara leading time snatches the meeting record from Prudent Seko Diso from South Africa Yes, she looked very controlled and relaxed. Um, didn't want to follow the fast pace set by her sister, the pacemaker, at 55. So she looked very controlled. The fans, the 